Hey guys, so welcome to uh, Metroid Dread. As you can see, I'm starting over here. Um, I I have played this game and I've actually beat it 19 times already. So and we're playing on hard mode, but um, yeah, I didn't want to go through all that again, unfortunately. If you guys want to see the story, I guess maybe play it for yourself. And if you haven't played this yet for yourself, I would suggest doing it because there's going to be heavy spoilers here. Anyway, I... I I am going to um, watch a lot of the cutscenes, maybe not all of them, but I have seen all of these, but for this series, I'm going to do that. Okay, here we are. No loading from coming in, it takes a while. We're gonna just going to watch these. If you guys would like to skip on past these, you can if you've already played this yourself. These cutscenes are still fun to watch, though. They're just long, especially this first one. Now I am thinking about doing dread mode as well, so when I do that, um, we'll be just skipping every cutscene. Some things I want to explain as soon as explain as soon as these cutscenes are over. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is very low. Report from the area where the game is controlled. Try to connect with the facility's network to communicate with the water. That way. sick then he's really mad right here because he she damaged his helmet and there goes her suit as usual at least there's an explanation as to why she loses it the fusion there is too but the older one before that no he just doesn't have it Always stuck with the power suit every time. That must be pretty frustrating for Samus. All right. So, um, some things I wanted to explain. I did actually record this already, funny enough. Um, my uh, capture card audio was way too loud. So, um, the audio for this game was way too loud. You couldn't hear, hear me very well. So, we did get to Corpius, I think, and then we ended it. Some other things I did want to explain as well. Um, there is a little bit of a line here. Um, I don't know if it's my HDMI cable or the capture card. I literally just got this. I don't. I don't have a clue. But hopefully, it's not too big of a problem for you guys. But anyway, let's go up here. Oh. Oh. Careful. 
Now, I tend to get lost a lot for some reason, even though I've been in Ive Times. I mean, not as much as I was before, but... And we're just going to skip a lot of these. Like, the Adam things, we're just going to straight up skip through entirely. We're already saving. It wasn't this bad my first time recording it, though. That's what's frustrating to me, but the audio is just too loud. I'm not sure if... I don't know what that's about. It's actually pretty frustrating, and I don't know what's causing that. It's very strange. There's some other things I want to explain too, but I forgot. See, my memory is not good sometimes. Let's just get up here. Maybe I'll remember later. I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess I was going to say I was originally going to stream this, but um, I did a test stream as of recording, as of, the, as of today, as of recording this, um, and the quality was just so bad that I decided, because my Wi-Fi isn't the best, and so I decided we're just going to turn this into a series instead, because the quality will be better, much better than it already was before. I mean, it won't be perfect, obviously, as you can see that little line thing, but... Now, these I actually might skip. Some of these I might skip. Like, the Emmy cutscenes. Some of them I feel like I might skip because... I don't know. They're just all of them are so long. Okay. Now, let's get this. Yeah, sorry if you guys haven't played this before. I'm not going to skip most of the major ones. I mean, if you haven't played this yet and you want to play I don't suggest continuing watching this. Um, let's see. Let's get him. Yeah, and I've beaten this a bunch of times, so I know mostly what to do. The screen recorder wasn't, like, super expensive, so... I mean, it doesn't surprise me that it's doing that. Unfortunately. Yeah, but we tried a test stream today. I did a bunch of games. Multiple different games. And this was one of them, and the quality was just so, so bad. I was like, nobody's going to want to watch those streams because the quality is so bad. So we're making a series into it, which is fine because I know I can get through this game. And we're playing on hard. So, yeah, on Dread Mode. Um, was I going to say something about that? I was going to, yeah, we're going to do a series on Dread Mode. I would have would have rather done a street series on Dread Mode because Dread Mode is going to take a lot of editing because I'm going to be dying a lot, so... There's a lot that I'm going to have to cut out when I do that, but that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, I will probably do that. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but it's obviously going to be after this. Now, some of these cutscenes, uh, I think this first any cutscene, we're not going to, I might not skip. I've seen it a lot of times because I've watched a lot of people react to the, to the trailers back in E3 and stuff. And so I've seen that intro because they had it in the trailer. Like this part right here, I've seen it so many times now. But that's okay. All for the benefit of the video. I'm really sorry about that line. I'm going to try different HDMI ports in the next episode and see if I can get that figured out. If not, you know what? I'm just going to deal with it. Okay. And we are possibly, well, ones I can stream are like Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission because they're older. Uh, the quality can be a little lower because you can't tell as much. With these HD games, it really, really shows when you have bad quality, so. Um, I can't. I can't do that. Whoops. For some reason, whenever one of these guys come up, every time I play this, I always shoot this. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Get this missile tank. Okay, here we go. So, yeah. We're just going to skip through all the Adam stuff because I don't really need the information. We've, I've beaten this game quite a few times now. I mean, if you'd seen, I have not, I have, I've been counting every time I beat Metroid Dread. But I, so long ago, I lost the count of Metroid Fusion because I actually started with, uh, was Zero Mission when I was eight years old, I think. And then I got Fusion a few years later. Um, 
and I beat it so many freaking times. It's not even funny. It's crazy. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point with this. Even like 19 times seems like a lot. But that's nothing compared to how many times I beat Fusion, so. Uh -huh. Zero Mission 2, but I definitely... I really like Fusion, even though it's more linear. I know I do got lost easily. It's a thing for me. Um, oh, careful. Okay. Uh, no, go this way. You stay away from me, please, buddy. I don't want to die already to you. Okay, over here. I like to shoot these with missiles sometimes because they actually die quicker. And you some you got to wall your missiles back, so you might as well. There's something there, but we can't get that because we need the more fall. You get the more fall so late in this in this game. Most of the Metroid games you get them pretty early on. It's like usually the first power up. It's pretty much always the first power up. But in this game, oh man, you don't even get it till like the third enemy. So where's the second? I think it was the green one, correct? Man, I beat I even beat this recently and I still can't remember. Okay. Moving on down here though. Yeah, I know mostly what to do. Sometimes I do get lost in my memory lab. Um, sometimes I will uh forget what I did what I've already done because it's not it's like no matter how many times I beat it I even do it with Metroid Fusion still no matter how many times I beat it it's gonna happen okay we may not necessarily need the map but I'm just gonna do it anyway I probably won't use it like super often but yeah it's really unfortunate we couldn't stream this game thing is we were actually gonna stream uh, there's this one particular game called Mega Man Maker, which is probably what we're going to be only streaming for the time being, because we went one series ended this morning as a recording, actually. We did we did another stream, so. Um, and that series is over. So, and that's, it's like based on old Mega Man games, so. It's like 8 bits, you can't, you don't notice the quality as much, so. It's easier for me, like we might, I kind of tempted to like stream the original Metroid, or even Super Metroid. I'm sure those would look fine. We're just gonna kill this thing because I want some health back. Okay. We don't want to die. We're on hard mode, so we just need to be careful. We're not on dread mode, so. Well, that probably wasn't necessary. Didn't pay attention to how much health I had left. Okay, back in the enemy zone once again. Oh, you're there. Okay. I'll just mosey on this way then. Okay, I get this. He always goes to the right. If he came to the left, he would be able to catch me so much faster. You can't get me. Bye bye. No. Okay. Let's get the charge beam real quick. I just got the screen recorder, so I really want to do a series on this game. This is one of my favorites, if not favorite Metroid games now. I mean, one of the biggest reasons, to be honest, is because of how smooth it is, like how you move and everything. Oh man, and then you got the free aim. This game just feels super nice. Like, it's amazing. And then you can even slide and everything. It's pretty amazing. The work that Mercury Steam has put in this game. I honestly could say Nintendo couldn't have picked a better company to make the, bring the 2D series back. Honestly. energy tank wait no okay there we go I 
love that you can do this while moving too. In uh, Samus Returns, you can only do it while standing still, so it's a really nice improvement. You just need to head back up this way. Save just because. Why not? Well, something I kind of want to try. I've tried this before, I just, I never can do it. Sequence break. I don't really sequence break. I'm a Metroid fan, but I've never really, that's never something I've really done. Or really tried to do. Uh, okay. Moving on, we're not doing that anymore. So we need to go and open these doors. No. We have to go back up there again, this way. Yeah, I remember, we have to go right up this way. Okay. These things are really easy to kill, so I, a lot of times I don't actually... I don't actually counter those very much. Unless I absolutely have to. I did it one time just because... Um, but like, I can usually kill them before they can hit me, so... Let's just save again. I, I save a lot just to be safe. Pretty much when I get to hit every save room. I will usually say so. Sometimes I will pass them if I don't think it's necessary. Okay. This way. Okay, now we open these doors and we can take out this enemy. Easy peasy. I think that would be called screen tearing, correct? That's super annoying. Oh. Yeah, it's not doing that for me on my Switch. It's that it's just the recording that's, that's happening with. I've got it hooked up to a TV, so I'm not seeing that while I'm doing this. Lucky for me, I guess. And we have to we have to do this, so. Okay. Let's go destroy this enemy. Oh wait, that's right. We have to go through these doors. It's really easy because you just follow these doors that you didn't have open before. Wall jumping on here is so easy. On Super Metroid, it's so hard. I've actually only been in Super Metroid one, because, one time because of that. Um, it's not just the wall jumping. It's just too... I mean, I grew up when Zero Mission the GBA era. So I grew up with those games. And the Super Metroid is just weird and for me. Um, I'm one of those people that really wants a remake because of that. Because it's just too hard for me to play. I'm gonna maybe do a series on it. I might stream it, it depends on what the quality is like. We might have to do a test stream, another test stream, to see what it looks like, because I don't know. I won't look, know until I actually start streaming, which is the thing. Well, I have to actually go and watch the stream afterwards. So, okay, this way. Goodbye, Mr. Emmy. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's really easy. You just go like this and then just shoot. But my aim isn't off. Okay, got him. There we go. Now it can actually go take on the uh, Corpius. Corpius will probably finish off the episode. As I had tended to, intended to the first time, I should—I just totally forgot to turn off, lower the audio. I usually will do it, but I just totally, I totally spaced it. That's okay. It didn't take me too long to get back to where I was anyway. If it was like AQM2R. That'd be harder. Speaking of AQM2R, anyone who's watching that series, it's—it's it's effectively dead because we're not going to be streaming that. Any, or, or yeah, we're not going to be. Well, we streamed the first episode. We're not going to make any more on that for the time being, if ever, because uh, safe file corrupted, so. Rip to that series. We've got others that we can play now. We can play Super Metroid. We can even try the original. I've never beaten the original Metroid because of Zero Mission, like, and it's just hard without a map and stuff. And, of course, I would use a map. Like, I wouldn't play it without a map. I'm just, it just, I could play it the way they intended. Well, I wonder, because the areas are similar to the remake but i don't know if i can figure out where i'm supposed to go based on the remake i don't know is there a mission i don't know i could try that but i don't think it would work very well uh let's go save real quick and then go straight to corpius and after we beat corpius i know we have to go to uh Cateris after that so we'll just go to the save room that's over there. Uh, actually, it might be a map room. I can't remember. Um, just go over there. Okay. Oops. Well, we're gonna watch this this cutscene. like not scared at all of the thing. <laughs> She's so sick. He's not terribly difficult. He's definitely harder than any of like most 2D series bosses what I've noticed is they're always really easy for the most part, but this game no way. Come on. Mm. No. We just have to do this twice. We have to counter him twice and he'll be dead. This attack right here, I can never figure out how to avoid. That really made Dread Mode hard for me just to get past this dang part. I did it though, and I beat it. It took him to get lucky and he didn't use the attack. That's how I had to do it. I don't know how to avoid it. I have no clue. There's gotta be a way, but I can never figure it out. God, I mean, sick cutscene. It's my favorite one. She's just like, the way she shoots it without looking at him. Sort of looking at his, at the side view, but. And this is just sick. Ultimate show off moment. Now we have 
there's a phantom cloak. Let's go over to that save room. I will see you guys in the next episode.